episode 11. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Here, here's the best intro I'm ever gonna give. All right, let me see it, bro. What's going on, guys? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you episode number 11 of our Pokemon Black 2, White 2, Randomized Soul Link Challenge with the one, the only, DJ Spinda. What's going on, guys? DJ Spinda here, episode 11. All right. Yeah. We beat the gym leader on the last episode. I barely survived without losing somebody because he had some pretty interesting mons to take me on. But uh, let's do a quick team recap and then we're gonna go ahead and head to that desert hey we're gonna get some new encounters in today's episode aren't we not i think so i think holy so. toledo up first we have shadow the leopard with torment fake out fury swipes in pursuit uh shadow is linked with my boy phantom the zangoose level 22 rocking out with quick attack strength slash in pursuit up next we have my girl, our starters that y'all chose, Janet the Jellicent with Recovery, Water Pulse, Absorb, and Ominous Wind. And the link with Janet is Enchantress, the Sigilith, holding that leftover because it's hungry, rocking out with Psybeam, Air Cutter, Hypnosis, and Magnitude. Up next, we have my boy Stainless the Steelix with Curse, Rock Throw, Super Fang and Stealth. And linked with Stainless is Gertrude, the Yumass, holding that experience share because she ain't seeing the field any day soon. <laughs> and she's rocking out with the moves Nightshade, Ominous Wind, Will O Wisp, and Hex. Not a bad moveset. Last but not least, we have Iron Maiden, the Ferrothorn, with Gyro Ball, Rollout, Curse, and Metal Claw. And linked with Iron Maiden is Django, who was unchained in the last episode. He went off the chain, holding that Rocky Helmet, rocking out with booze, Aerial Ace, Counter, Chip Away, and Fury Attack. Alright. I'm going to check out my Pokeball situation before we go further. I, I really love my team. It's so different. It's so strange, but it's also, it's not a very bulky defensive team, but we know how to hit people, all right? Mm -hmm. Freaking the Heracross and Zangoose and that that high, powerful Sigilith, you know, just smacking it. <laughs> just, just ready to Just kill. ready to throw down. Did we find all the little Harlequins? Uh, I thought I did. Yeah, I probably didn't. I'm not too concerned about it. They already gave us the bike when we got here, so I'm like, what else can you give me, right? Nothing else I need from Exactly. Oh, can we go to the far east? Or not? I don't know. Let's check it out. Do we have Pokeballs? I in do. case we needed to do some encounter goodness. Oh, what? Do, what who am I going to put up front here? No, the road is blocked. Dang, I was looking forward to that. All right, so we just so head north then. We have then. to go to the... Desert. Yeah, let's do it. To the desert, to the desert. We got, oh, right yeah, I suppose those crystals are going to be gone. No We're going to have, like, what, so. Relic Path or something like that or, or something. Yeah. Oh, Colrus is up here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I voiced him. Or you voiced him. I'm no, I. you did, but I was, like, super busy. That's when I was lost down in the sewers. <laughs> you do it. You do it. <clears throat> Oh, it's you again. If it's not an inconvenience, I may have to look at your Pokemon. May I have a look at your Pokemon? Yes. I appreciate I your guess. cooperation. Oh, how interesting. Your Heracross seems to display more self-confidence than others of the same species. And you're a trainer with merely three badges? Fantastic. I'm not sure how long it's going to be doing before I'm bringing it out. The power of your Pokemon. Oh, excuse me. I'm a scientist. My name is Colorus. The theme of my research is bringing out the power of Pokemon. Bringing out the power of Pokemon. Is it possible to bring out their maximum power through the bond they share with their trainers, or is it some other different method? Hmm. I'd like to take a. Te I'd like to test my theory by battling with you. Do you find this acceptable? No. <laughs> Let's get Either it. Either way, I'll be waiting on Route 4. It's just beyond here. 
Oh, okay, okay. He's about to get a smack down. Dude, I remember losing some pokes last time we battled him in the other game. I think we did. Yeah, we... I don't recall. I don't know. Maybe we only had a team of one at that point. I don't remember. I thought for some reason there was... Or maybe we almost lost Pokemon. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe we almost lost the game. I feel like we had a really tough battle with Colrus last time. There's grass on top of those people. Roots. Whoa. Looking. I'm in the desert real quick. I'm just making sure that there's... Because I see a little path of, over here. A little path of to this resistance. Word. There's those trainers down there too, which I've been kind of holding off on those because they always have dangerous mods, it seems like. <laughs> but I do want the money, so I'll probably battle them later on. But Ooh, let's see what's in here. A Roseberry. All right, you want to battle these guys, or do you want to just keep going? Um, I'm down here on... You know what would be nice if I could actually see your screen? Wait, you can't see it? I was I was on a uh, different platform. Oh, okay, but my, my screen is sharing. Okay. Yeah. I was I like, wait, what? Oh, so you're battling... Ooh, a month. You're battling those buggers, huh? Yeah, I'm taking them out. Okie dokie. Come on, Janet. <clears throat> Dancer Taya has a Machamp. Tell you what, if I ain't got the perfect switch in for a Machamp, I don't know what. <laughs> level 19, not bad. Level wise, not bad. What is a absolute one to do to a Steelers? Probably not. Probably absolutely Quick. nothing. <laughs> Quick. I didn't mean to step up. You didn't mean to set up? Well, I didn't. He's the last Pokemon. Ooh. Goodbye, my champ. Have a nice time. This dude got utterly blown back. Oh, he only had one Pokemon. Wow. What a nerd. What a nerd. Ooh, a Roselia. Roselia. Ooh, don't have poison. Pig Knight. Level 18 Pig Knight. Yas. $600. Pig Knight is a fighting type at this point, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Cool beans, man. I'm knock him out. Cool potatoes. Okay, Rampardos. I love me some Ramp. Dude, didn't we get a Rampardos in a playthrough? But I don't think we ever actually used it. Yeah, I don't think we did either. I do remember, though. Um, wasn't it like a Rampardos and a Pidove pair or something like that? Something like that. I mean, Pidove, if that were the case, Pidove is actually not bad. I mean, it's, Unfed it's okay. Man. It's no Star after or anything, but. It is not. Django hit level 22. 22. 22. Oh my god. Keldeo. Whoa. These guys always have legendaries, dude. They always have legendaries. What the heck? Dude, be careful. Keldeo is no Aqua joke. Jet Keldeo. Ooh, that's gonna be. Mm, that did nothing. Enchantress is a thick old girl. She a thick. One shot the Keldeo. <laughs> Swords of Justice. Pokemon. All right, Ooh. I made it to Corvus. Corvus. Oh shoot. Let's do it. Oh, How oh you? God, you're already there. Hold on. I just finished that battle. Not to worry. I'm gonna run over. I have battled everybody. I did battle that guy. Oh, what? He's completely different location for me. Yeah, I know. My game is way different than yours. Crazy. I've been waiting for you. What's the matter? Interested in what's behind me? There are not. They're not mere rocks, but the Pokemon known as Crustle. Observe. With this device I created to energize Pokemon, I'll... <clears throat> sure. Wake up, you lazy sons of guns. Look at him go. I want a Crustle. I want one. You get to see the book type. Yeah, right. Those Crustle, they were just lying there out of energy with their boulders on their backs. 
Team Plasma said we should recognize the potential in, in Pokemon and liberate them from humans. I disagree. Conversely, it should be humans to bring out the hidden potential in Pokemon. Oh, he always does that little finger point. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. DJ Spin, I'll remember that. Well then, I will test you to see if you'd rather if you're a trainer who can bring out the hidden potential of Pokemon. Let's get it, boy! Let's get it, uh -oh. boy! Oh I ain't afraid of you, man! Boy, this only got two Pokemon, that's I ain't it. Afraid of you, man. Dusclops. Oh. Oh, a Solana. Solana. Level 23 though. Level 23 though. I can respect. Fake out. For sure. Leopard fake out. Clutch. I told you about me breeding all the competitive Meowths, right? Um, yeah, you're trying to get all three. Sword. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I have all three of them. They're level 50. They're all Meowths. Um, two of them are Technician. The other one is um, Tough Claws. Oh, okay. And I love it. Tough, claw, that tough Claws. That must have been pers and, Berserk. Uh, yeah. I'm keeping them as Meowths, though. Um, but, uh, yeah, I have the technician. They all have fake out. Um, it's pretty sweet. It's and a cool perfect. thing, though, is that the tough claws increases physical damage anyway. So, And then uh, another little thing that I've been playing around with is I have the bright idea for doubles. I want to test out a life orb on a Conkelder that has guts. So I want to pair it with a ghost type Pokemon that has prankster, so the prankster attack should go first. So the plan is, is that I have Kinkelder out, okay. right? Paired with like a Sableye. The Sableye Willow Wisp my own Kinkelder that has a life orb. And then I think Mock Punch would go second after Willow Wisp. So Willow Wisp, Kinkelder, Kinkelder, Mock Punch, and it should kill whatever it hits. Hmm. Because it'll increase it, it'll 1.95 is the math, is how much of an increase in the attack we so almost double. Gotcha. You're just over there beating your Pokemon, man. I'm over here fighting. What? What am I doing? Did you beat his team? No, not yet. Oh. So that is my plan right there. But I'm trying to get a. I want to do some free for all stuff. So I had. To, I wanted to make a whole bunch of crazy Pokemon to free for all with. Gotcha. Disable me. Let's see if Phantom can clutch it out. How dare you sing on me? Ouch! How dare you? Ouch. Ouch. Ooh, settle down there, buddy. Let's try that. Sing Wiggly. Sing Wiggly Tough, man. Wiggly Tough. Sing Wiggly Tough. Fighting a wiggly toe. And she's slapping stainless. Oh god. Oh, he's super potion. Are you kidding me? What a noob. Goodness. How are you gonna miss the rock throw on a wiggly toe? Wow, that did nothing. Can I get a crit, please? Nope. Alright, Janice, I'm sorry. Order to Janet. Would you be sad if I lost Phantom? <laughs> you know, I would be just because I like the pair. Leopard's pretty decent with that fake out. But if you had to sack any Pokemon, I think that Phantom would be the most acceptable. There we go. I killed the Willoughby. And defeated Colrus. Ooh, Hone Claws, there you go. I'm done too. I see, just like the gym leaders in each area or elite four in the champion in the Pokemon League, you bring out the power in Pokemon by being kind to them. That's the kind of person you are. I'm extremely grateful for your help. This is a token of my gratitude. Protein. Mm. It's so frustrating. If only we could talk to Pokemon in order to bring out their power. There's no way a person like that could ever exist. <laughs> well then, DJ Spin, uh -huh. I hope to see you again sometime. What about in? That's the, that's the, that's the I know, right? Alright. 
It must be dead. And is dead. Oh, we got a double battle up here. Well, I do. I don't know about you. Can I go inside these buildings? I can. Let's see what's inside these houses. Let me know if there's anything I need to... Well, actually, my place is entirely different, so I don't know. We're, we probably have totally different stuff. Probably. I got health wing from her. Cool. Increases HP. Increases the EV for HP. Whoa, look at this lineup. Bomb of Snow and Porygon 2. Good luck. If you have Heracross, though, you're going to do real well. That's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. Hopefully it doesn't have confusion, though. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna outspeed with Enchantress, probably, and I'm going to Air Cutter, which hits both of them, and then I'm going to... Mm, I don't I don't have a Fighting-type move other than Counter, and I don't want to risk running Counter, so I think I'm just going to hit that there, Porygon 2, with that... Air Tata? Oh, I found an EXP one share shot in a Pokeball. The Obama it was a crit. I found an EXP share in a Pokeball. Sweet. So now you have two of them, huh? Everybody's gonna be getting getting all that experience. Oh, he went defense curl. <laughs> what a dweeb, huh? What a dweeble. Dweeble. That means I think my double battle is probably dead. Citrus Berry. Cool. Bob. Alrighty, well that was an easy double battle. Gosh. Alright. Well, that was a piece of cake, man. Uh-oh. Piece of cake canopy. Here we go. Relic Castle. That'll be a new encounter, probably, huh? Yeah, I think so. Oh, perfect. A Bidoof. Level 24, dude. These levels, though. I'm still under level, and I've been training. <laughs> I mean, oh, Hyperfang. Like Hello. Better. He took Rocky Helmet. Oh, he flinched me out. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Jeez. Are you are you kidding me right now? Headbutt. Bop. Oh, I did a lot. He flinched me again? What is this, Bidoof the Flinch Master? You didn't know that Bidoof is Arceus' best friend? Wow, I have to heal now. I went counter twice and he... Wow. You went counter and you couldn't beat a Bidoof. Well, he flinched me both. He flinched me with Hyper Fang and he flinched me with Headbutt. Both times. Do I need to teach you how to play Pokemon? Wow. Is it like... <laughs> maybe it's something I didn't know about. Maybe maybe like if you use counter on a move that has a high flinch chance, it flinches every time. No. I mean, that's what it's doing right now. That, that Bidoof might have uh, scope lens. Who knows? Yeah. Or, or it might have King's Rock. Hyper Fang again. It flinched. It, he has flinched me every time, Michael. Every single time. The only re well, the only reason he has taken any damage is because he's hitting me and taking Rocky Helmet damage. That is the only reason he's taking damage. That's scary. That's ridiculous, dude. That is a B. He is like four for four in flinches on every move. And that's only when I've used counter. He what? died now to the Rocky Helmet. Like, dude, that I, I might have to that's look crazy. that up. That might actually be a thing. Like, every single flinch he's got flinch moves, and it flinched every single time that I used that I used counter. If I had used Aerial Ace, I would have outsped him. You know what I mean? But because I used counter, I, I take think, the. I think he had King's Rock. <laughs> I I don't know if that's true. <laughs> That was insane. I'm, I'm upset about that. Upset about that. Infernape. Well, I'm switching the heck out of this. Honeydew. I see Biker Charles. That might be the trick. Heartbreaker Charles. Yeah. Lockbreaker Charles is what he is. You know yeah. how scary triple battles are? Triple battles scare the crap out of me. Yeah, you can lose every 
Pokemon you could, you could get double teamed so easily. <laughs> yep. Well, what's better, triple battles or rotation battles? Rotation, at least it's 1v1, but then also you kind of, you'll get caught in a really bad matchup sometimes with that too, because you'll be, you know, you'll have like my flying type out against the grass type, and then I use a move, and then he rotates over to his electric type, eats the move up, and then thunderbolts the crap out of me, you know what I mean? True. Gertrude hit level 27. Ooh, girl. I need to I, make it. I just found Sacred Ash. That's that's, that's oh. worthless. Mine knows the locksmith, and you can use it. Yeah. I wish. Dude, your place is completely different. I know entirely. That's crazy. I looped around. That's crazy, dude. I'm down here in the south fighting people in the desert still. I found another sacred ash. I have two now. <laughs> back to back items. Sacred ash. That's kind of crazy. You want to trade your petalil for a cotton? Mm -hmm. I don't have a petalil. Never. Ooh, Leah Perk's gonna enjoy this. This is a really interesting part of the game. I don't know if I've really spent that much time in this part of the game. Yeah. Are you still in the desert? Oh, there's a healer person over here. Yeah. Well, I mean, my, my whole place looks like a desert. Hmm. Like, I have old ancient relics and ru ruins and stuff. Hey, um, is this a different spot in the map here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look. No, it's still Route 4. Okay. So I just, there's some sand here that I can encounter in, and I was like, well, just like... There's a trainer. Better check. <clears throat> okay, we got. It's a Torchic! Level 24 Torchic, my goodness. What are you doing? What kind of train? What kind of trainer doesn't evolve their Torchic? At level 24, you still have a Torchic. Tell you, tells you what, man. I found a Rocky Helmet, dude, right in the grass. Oh, Rocky Helmet, su or, such a good item, dude. That's what my that's what my hero cross has. Let's get this double battle in. Don't have don't have Garotina. Don't have don't have anything crazy. Easy money. Easy money. Twisted. First turn, we're gonna fake out the Pelipper, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use you to destroy that elite. I can't believe how much that that Ember did to me. Wow. Super potion? Are you kidding me? Why is everybody out here using super potions right now? Dang right they are. The leaf is dead. Go ahead and kill this. I have had always oh, focusing his energy. Whoa. Better be careful, Squidward. Be careful, SpongeBob. Let's just quick attack and get him up out of here. You better Boy, be I'll careful. Tell you what. Spongebob. Phantom does not take hits very well. No, he does not. A Torchic I just, used yeah. Ember on Absolutely him and almost perfect. one shot him. Can you believe that? Well, yeah. That is unfortunate. It's crazy. It kind of blows my mind, man. Don't get a crit. Oh, easy. You fine. You fine. Oh, this. Nah, dude. A crit. Ooh. A crit put me in. Got a Snorlax. In a bad spot. Snorlax. Snorlaxative. All right, uh, I'm gonna go with counter Dude, and see oh what. Oh, we belly drummed. <gasps> Hold the phone, Mike. We have a belly drum Snorlax in our midst right now. I don't know. You better hit. You better handle that. I don't know what to do to him. If I switch to a Pokemon and they take any hit from him, belly drummed. I don't think anybody's to live in. If he if he has like stab body slam. What moves does Heracross know? It's unfortunate. The only fighting type move is counter. He's got he's, Ra Raid he's got move. aerial ace, chip, chip away, fury attack, and counter. Hit his ass with it. Uh, what's chip away's effect? I can't remember. Wait, what's a oh, chip away? It, it ignores the opponent's and there's a status. Oh, on my screen. Oh, okay. <laughs> it 
it, uh, chip away ignores the opponent's stat changes. So like if you if you hit him with chip away, you should kill him with one hit. No, no Do way. It. I guarantee. Uh, air air lace or chip away. Okay. you're gonna outspeed. Oh, I know that. I'm telling you right now though, if I hit him and I don't knock him out this turn, Heracross is done. Anyone else that you throw out there is gonna. Uh, I, I could switch into I could take that risk of a normal type move and switch into my ghost type and burn him or something. What is you should look up Snorlax's Gen 5 level up moveset. Well I know at level 23 he's gotta have he's gotta have at the very least headbutt, but I think he learns body slam pretty early on. Here's the thing too, actually, fun fact, I forgot. With uh Django I have the Rocky helmet on. So if I do manage to live a hit, he's going to take Rocky Helmet damage plus the chip away. I might be able to knock What's him out. What's his level? Level 23, and I'm level 22. I think you got it, bro. All right, we're rolling the dice. Chip away. Let's go. I hit him with chip away. Maybe it'll just knock out, but I just don't think it will. Nope, not even close. Oh, he went with Lick? Oh! <laughs> what a... Oh, my gosh. I still did more than half and paralyzed oh, me. Oh, man. Whoa. Um, hey, you... You would have switched the yam mask. It would have been yeah, dead. dude. I would. I, he died from. He died from the sandstorm. I forgot about the sandstorm. He took rocky helmet damage from the physical lick, and then he took sandstorm damage and died. You're welcome. Wow. But I told you, You're Chipway welcome. was not going to knock out. It only did half of what he had left. Hey, I talked you out of. I talked you out of switching the yam mask. Well, I know, but who would have? Who? I don't think a single person would have expected lick from. But you know what? He read me. He read me because maybe he was thinking, like. Maybe the AI's thinking, oh, switch into a ghost type uh, against a normal type, have that chance of, you know, avoiding that hit altogether. I'm not a good spot. Wow, I can't believe that. It's crazy. But, I mean, right now you have the best switch in for uh, Suicune. I mean, you're sitting there with, yeah, with a steel and grass type. That's like quad resist. Oh, ghost. wow, that's stupid. That's stupid he's got gust. So I guess you don't have the best Pokemon for it. Who saw who saw <laughs> new meta Gus Gus Suicune, huh? Jeez. And he keeps leering me, man. Yeah, but what's he got that's physical? Gus is special. Oh, it 100% is. I don't think so. I have to go heal again. My team's banged up. I think after this battle, Mike, we could about call it an episode, dude. I think you might be right there, bud. We went through some some wild craziness in this episode. Didn't get very far as far as like actually getting somewhere, but we did uh, have some battle wild a lot of train. How the heck does this guy? You were totally right about the Heartbreaker Charles guy. He's like, that's a Lockbreaker guy, and he's using a damn suit. Yo, I just got Shadow Sneak. Whoa, that's really good, dude. And I bet Yamas can't even learn it. Bet you can. Bet he can. I have so many good TMs right now. My goodness. Tropius is coming out. Oh, I forgot I got Fiery Dance. Oh my gosh. Cloaked in Flames, the user dances and flaps its wings. It may also raise the user's special attack stat. That's really good. That's really good. Whoa. I have a lot of special attackers on my team. This might not be the worst. Oh, nobody can learn it. <laughs> Shadow Sneak. And it's a physical ghost move. Phantom can learn it, dude. Dude, Shadow Yo. Sneak and Quick Attack? Are you kidding me? Yo. That's pretty clutch, dude. I told you, if you put a dark or a ghost type move on Phantom, it's I think over. I, sh I think I should get rid of Pursuit. I would. Because I, I have Quick move? Attack. Strength I can't get rid of, and I have Slash. Slash is my high crit move, and I'm, he's holding the scope line, so Pursuit would be the only one. Yeah, I get rid of Dude, and Quick Attack and, and Shadow Sneak both have 30 PP, and they're like the same move. Oh my god, that's amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. I would, I would totally agree. He's not going to be hitting all that hard, because both those moves are, you know, base 40, but still. Stainless. That's crazy, dude. That's just crazy. Nah, you made the right call, get rid of it. Lagging tail, man. What? 
come I didn't see that thing earlier. Did you did you go past the freeway part where you go underneath the freeway and all that business? No, I'm still south, like trying to get all these items. What is this building up here again? I don't even remember what the heck this place is. Relic vase, dude. What is this building? Oh, and there's another one. Join Avenue. I forgot about that. That's where we end up having to go, but. Expert belt, dude. There's so many hidden items in the desert. Oh bro. yeah. Just buried in the sand. Have you been using your your item finder? No, but I could. I would, dude. You find a master ball by accident? Is that something you have to click on the bottom screen to do? Nah, dude. You just um, you uh. So mine is my hot key is A. So you oh, just press A. Oh, I got you. Up. It's in your key items, though. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. But if you you ain't been getting those items, dude. Fire gem. I found about five or six right there. A dragon gem. Who is the who's the healer? For me, it was the lady. It was far, the far house. Um, I found her. Yep. It, like I said, we're so different. It's crazy. What is our time at? We're over thirty. All right. Well. I think we got a good spot. Dylan, you're going to scoop up some of those items off screen. I guess wouldn't be too bad of an idea. But if you guys enjoyed this, please, please, please smash that like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. Go check out the description. I got links in there to Dylan's channel. I got merch in there. I got all kinds of cool stuff in there. So go check that out if you guys got time. Be sure to check out the next episode. It's going to be over on DJ Spinda's channel. But with that, you guys, I've been the Phantom Michael. That's DJ Spindle. We're going to get the heck out of here. I will see you guys in the next one. Later.